Hello friends. The envelope punch board has been around for some time now, a couple years I believe, but I still get a lot of questions about how to use it and a lot of people haven't seen it before. So I thought I would just film a quick video as an easy tutorial, as a reference for those who have the punch board or those who haven't seen it yet. So basically, I'll explain first how the punch board works. You have here on this chart 66 sizes of envelopes. So along this first column, you'll see that it's marked the card size. So you pick basically what size is your card or what size you ultimately want your envelope to end up. The second column is paper size. So that's the size you need to cut your starting piece of cardstock or paper. And then the third column is the score line. Now, and I'll explain the score line in a minute. I've left mine in Imperial, but the punch board does come with a sticker that you can put a overlay over this that shows it in metric, so whichever you prefer. In addition, I just want to point out that the instructions are written right here on the side just as a little reference for you as if you you know can't quite remember how it goes, it will just jog your memory a bit. And then I just want you to note this line along this side of the board. Your scoring tool slots neatly into the side here so in theory you won't lose it. And then back behind the punch, th this is the punch, back behind here this is a corner rounder. Alright so I want to show you first your basic 5x5 five five envelope. This is probably the size I, I use the most. So if we look here on our chart, the card size 5x5 five five is here. The paper size is eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth squared, which I've already cut for you out of crumb cake. And then your score line is four and one eighth inches. So you will slot the paper in like this, flat against the back, and you've got a ruler along the left hand side, one, two, three, four, five. So you wanna slide the edge till it meets the four and one eighth. And I make this five by five size so often, I've actually uh, made a little mark there for myself. And then the next thing you want to do is punch. It's quite a stiff punch, so you'll want to use definitely the palm of your hand. And then you will just score along that score line I pointed out earlier. <clears throat> Some people find it easier to start from the bottom and then move up. But if you put the um, score just flat along this little edge here, it should, should find the line. Okay, then from there you're going to rotate it 90 degrees to the left. And now you will line up this little bar with this existing score line. So you only measure it the very first time you punch and you don't want to necessarily regard the um, ruler again. Okay, punch and score. Line it up, punch and score. Lining up the score line with the little bar. Punch and score. And there you are, there is your envelope. Something like that. So now you've got a five by five inch square envelope. As an option, you can then also slot your envelope corners into the back of this same punch and it will round the corners for you. You really only need to do the two opposing sides if you want to do rounded corners, but you can do all of them if, you, if you'd like. Okay, so that's very simple. I find it's a good idea to just clean out these scraps, every one or two envelopes. It just punches a, a bit easier without those underneath. <clears throat> okay, now I just want to show you quickly one that's not square. So you see that you still start with a square piece of um, cardstock or paper. So in this case, I want to make an envelope that is not square and it's, it's a little bit bigger than the standard size. In this case, it's a five inch by six and a half inch project. So we'll find that on here, or you find the closest thing that um, fits the card. So five by six and a half, the card stock starts at nine and a quarter squared and your score line is four. So we're just gonna put that in at four. Same, pro exact same process, punch and score. This one goes off the paper, uh, off the board just slightly. Now, because it's not square, it's really important that you don't do any, um, use that ruler this, the second, third, and fourth times because it's gonna end up sort of oblong. So you definitely want to just line up that bar with the score line, sorry. 
punch and score, then rotate, punch and score. Okay, and then if you want to, you can round some corners. Okay, so now you can fold this up and you've got a nice kind of an extra large oblong sort of an envelope. You can also, if you want to, fold it any way you like, but you could also have the opening on this side more like a, um, an old style of coin envelope. So whichever you prefer, whichever suits the style of uh, card better. Now as far as adhering, you'll just, I tend to like to use the tear and tape because it's doesn't have any dry time and it's a sure thing. So you just put it along the two flaps, pull up the backing, burnish it with your finger first. That will make the backing, help the backing come off a lot easier. And then you'll just fold up that. Okay, then that's your envelope, very easy. So that would fit your non-stand, it's a little bit roomy, but that was the closest that there was, but that's okay. And then your square card could fit, or your square envelope would fit something that's kind of a non-traditional size or an actual square card. So this one I made to fit this project here. Um, the envelope punch board also makes very small envelopes so you, for little gift vouchers or a photo or um, just for a little note card, you know, to put with a gift. You can also make very long, non-traditional sized envelopes. And this one I've also chosen to make a liner. You could make a fully a second envelope that sits inside, or you could just do the, the basically the back to, to fit inside. Okay, and also don't forget you've got the option to stamp on your envelopes to match your project. And last, just want to point out this project that one of my team members did. You can also make your envelopes fully out of designer series paper to match your project. Or if you have more of a simple card, you could make the envelope quite bright and fun just as an added extra. So I hope that's helpful for you. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to get in touch. Thanks for watching.